So yeah, let's talk about uh, a high tide takes a pay cut, um, freeing up of some uh, millions for the Detroit Lions. They said the day cap space is around 27 million. Uh, a lot of guys are taking pay cuts around the Detroit Lions organization. Uh, that could speak to you know them believing in the organization, or it might not be a big market out for them anyway. So I'm gonna leave, get nothing, take small money, uproot my family, go somewhere else on a prove a deal, and I could prove it, you know, right where I'm at, and I have to move my family around or move again you know so i think that kind of speak to that um well let's speak on it thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel appreciate the love and support um check out detroit Lions talk playlist um uh, more videos like this and they said high tide takes a pay cut to stay with the lions it says the right guard high tide to play another year in Detroit, agreeing to take a pay cut. The Lions and High Tide agreed to reduce his base salary from nine point four to three million dollars for the 2023 season to make 2024 void a year, according to multiple sources. So it's almost a six million dollar pay cut. All right, it says that gives the Lions the salary cap relief uh, and gives High Tide a chance to have a good season in Detroit this year, and then next, uh, then hit the free agent uh, agency next year. A year earlier than he would have. The Lions likely would have cut high tie if he hadn't agreed to take a pay cut. 29 year old high tie um, was a, f a 2016 fifth round pick of the Eagles, who uh, uh, has undeniable talent but has struggled to get on the field and stay on the field consistently. Last year, he missed the entire season, suffering a back injury in the season finale. So, uh, what you're getting here is probably a guy that uh, you're probably getting a guy that's going to compete with Graham Glasgow for a spot. Um, what you're getting a guy that's you know, uh, about to hit the, uh, you know, probably about to hit the uh, market uh, and probably get one last, you know, big contract too. So he'll be playing for something kind of a disappointment here. He came here as a right tackle, got moved to guard, um, you know, cause he, you know, wasn't doing well. So, uh, I mean, you know, all, all in all, uh, you know, I think you you know you got some good utility guys. Graham Glasgow can play all the interior uh, positions. High tackle play both guard. He can play right tackle. You know, in the pinch he could play left tackle. Um, so, you know, I think I think they're doing pretty good. Um, you know, I think they're doing pretty good. You know, kind of you know working the salary cap, and then there's some rumors that the Lions you know could be bringing in a big money guy. You know, guys like me get excited and possibly it could be, you know, uh, possibly it could be, uh, you know, Lamar Jackson, which, you know, we know that's not going to happen. I just like throwing an idea out of there. Um, it could be Lamar Jackson. You know, it could be, uh, you know, uh, you know, it could be, you know, somebody else. It could be a trade. It could be waiting for after the, you know, better, some of the other veterans get cut after June 1st. So, uh, so it's a, it's a number of possibilities that they could be exploring uh, with this new salary cap space. So they have fifteen million dollars um, after Fox and Romeo Core restructured and signing Charlie Gardner Johnson. So this free up about what they say about seven. Um, so that put them at twenty one. But somebody was saying they got twenty seven million uh, a cap salary cap space was going around the internet. So, you know, if it's 21 or 27, I think uh, uh, I still think you're in a good position. You know, some people say, well, you know, uh, so according to over the cap, it's been, in, in, according to NFLPA records, his base salary will be $1.2 million in 2023. So that's what they're saying. His base salary would be $1.2 in 2023. So good that you all kind of surfed the internet a little bit. So, yeah, that's what they're saying. His base salary in 2023 uh, is, according to Justin Rogers, $1.2, according to the NFL Player Association records, not three. Still working on some of the other details. He said, I could be wrong, but I think the base $3 million is that triggers a 50% rule where the difference between $3 million next year, minimum salary 1.2, is treated as a signing bonus that makes the base three equal to 1.2 on the cap this year. So basically his cap hit is 1.2. So now, 
You're talking about uh, what about almost a $10 million cap uh, space that's almost created for the Lions. So, uh, you know, about eight, nine uh, right there. So, uh, so yeah. So, I mean, put a couple more, you know, million on that. Uh, so, yeah, about, yeah. You know, so they got a lot of money to play with. So, I mean, you know, could it be a DeAndre Hopkins trade? Could it be another receiver? Um, I don't know. Uh, could it be another player we're not thinking about? You know, maybe they want to uh, – Maybe they want to, you know, trade for somebody. Who knows? You know, maybe it's DJ Sharp. Um, so you just, you know, you never really know. So, uh, but I, I think a, a move is coming, creating almost thirty million in cap space. I think a move is coming. So. Um, not sure if it's going to be soon. Usually moves like that come when ain't nobody else thinking about it. You know, you wiping the cold out your eyes and going to bed. You hear, well, the Lions, you know, uh, make a move. But, man, I hope it's Lamar, man. That'll put them over the top, bro. People say, oh, nothing wrong with Jared Goff. He's fantastic. Look what he did last year. And I'm just looking at people like, bro, last, last year ain't this year. They going to have a target on the Lions back. That's the difference. He was shitty last year, to be honest. You know, when they ain't had shit to really play for, that's when he started playing real good. People forget forget that. Forget the pick he threw versus Philadelphia. People, people just, you know, he, he got they got us last year like that with the Lions. They got us last year like that. People forgot they finished strong and then, you know, started this year on, on some bullet job. So, I mean, we'll see. So, you know, could it be a guy like Odell Beckham? Could it be, you know, somebody else? I ain't sure. I ain't sure. I ain't sure. I ain't sure, but, um, you know, so hopefully, you know, uh, Hopefully, figure figure all this out, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notification. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Players for more videos like this. Peace.